Okay, so let's look at a couple more questions from the end of the problem set from lesson four in module four. And then we're also gonna flip over to the lesson seven problem set because lesson four and lesson seven are kind of similar. And the lesson seven problem set is super short. It's only three questions. So we'll kind of do them together this time. Um, so I'm gonna start over here on question seven in lesson four. It says, state two numbers such that the lesser number is 25% less than the greater number. All right, um, so really, if, if a number is 25% less, like let's say you have two numbers, A and B, these are numbers, right? I know they're letters, but they're really numbers. Well, the number A, whatever that is, is 25% less than the number B if number A is also 75% of number B. All right, so we could, we could pick a number and we could find what 25% of that number is and then subtract it from the number to do a 25% reduction. Or we could just pick a number and then figure out what 75% of that number is and we get the same answer either way. So I think we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna pick a number, number that I know is easily divisible by four because I'm trying to take a fourth off of that number. And then I'll just figure out what 75% of that number is or in other words, three fourths. Um, so I'm thinking multiples of four right now. I'm gonna pick 84. I picked 84 because I know that's divisible by four, so it should be um, pretty easy to make three-fourths of it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna divide this number by four first. So 84 will be my first number. I'll call it my number A. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 84 divided by four, that equals 21. All right, so this is one-fourth of A. And what I really want is three-fourths of A because I'm trying to make 75% of it. So I'm gonna do 21 times three equals 63. So there are my two numbers. There's my A and there's my B. Okay, if you're watching this video, um, try to pick different numbers. Don't turn it into something that says 60, 84 and 63. I don't. Uh, I think you could do this one after the explanation, pick your own numbers. Pick something smaller. Just pick, pick your bigger number to be something that's divisible by four, like you know, uh, eight, 12, 16, something like that. And that shouldn't be too hard. All right, um, and then, so that was number seven. Number eight says state two numbers such that the greater number is 75% more than the lesser number. So. That's the same thing, let's say I have a number A. I just realized that the way I wrote this, I said A is 25% less than B if number A is also 75% of number B, but then I kind of switched them around. I actually made A my greater number and B my smaller number. So really, if I wanna be consistent with the way I wrote my little note up there, this really should be B and this really should be A. That's not super important, but I'm nitpicking myself right now. All right, um, so back to number eight. It says we wanna pick a number and then just pick another number that's 75% greater than it. So A is 75% greater than some other number B if A is 175% of B. So what I mean by that is we could pick a number A and we could figure out what 75% of that is and then add it to A and we would get the correct number B. Or we could pick any number you want, doesn't matter, A, and then find out what 175% is, which you could do by just multiplying by the decimal 1.75, and you get your B. Uh, if you wanna have nice whole numbers, just like in the last one, you should pick a number that's divisible by four because this all has to do with three-fourths and one and three-fourths. It'll turn out nice if you pick something divisible by four. All right, let's move on to 
lesson seven problem set. Where is it at? There it is. Only three questions. So it says, you have a coupon for an additional 25% off the price of any sale item at a store. The store has put a robotics kit on sale for 15% off the original price of $40. What is the price of robotics kit after both discounts? Most stores don't let you do this, take a discount off of something that's already discounted, but whatever. So they want us to discount this $40 robot by 15% for a sale, and then by another 25% after that um, for the coupon. So let's think of it this way. If you have a 25% off coupon for something, then 25% uh, off means you pay 75% of the price, right? If something costs 100% of its price, you're, you take 25% off, you pay 75%. And then the same thing here could be said for the store has, a, has put a robotics kit on sale for 15% off the original price? Well, 15% off means you pay 85%. And so I could take the original price of $40, figure out what 85% of it is, then take that number and figure out what 75% of that number is and that's gonna be my ultimate price. So a final price, whatever you wanna say. So the calculations would be 0.85 times 40, that would get me some number that would go in this box. And then I would take that number that's gonna be in the box and I wanna take an additional 25% off of it. So that means multiply it by 0.75 to get what 75% is. And that's going to get me a whole new number that I'll put in here. And whatever number goes in here, that's the final price. All right. I'm not going to do this one for you. I'm just going to give you those, those hints. All right. Um, the next one, number two, says a sign that says the price is marked did I read that right? Okay. A sign says that the price marked on all music equipment is 30% off the original price. You buy an electric guitar for the sale price of $315. How much, or what is the original price? Okay, these ones can be kind of tricky because you have a sale price and you have to work back to um, the original price. You should think of it like this, like the questions we practice a bunch. You have a percent. So I'm on number two now. You have a percent you were given. It's 75%. And you were given a part, right? A part of the whole price. We don't know what the whole price or the original price is, but we know that part of it that is a, why did I write 75%? Am I, if you're just blindly copying me, you have wrong information right now. I hope you're paying attention. Um, it says, a sign says that the price marked on all equipment is 30% off. And so what I actually have is a percent that is 70%, right? I'm thinking about what does my part, that is the sale price of $315 represent. This part represents 70% of the whole original price because they took 30% off. Um, and so I'm trying to find the whole or, or original price in this case. And so we've done a bunch of problems like this where you could just do, um, you know, part divided by percent is how we usually would do this to find, let's like, let's say what we would call W. So let's do it that way. We would set up an equation that says the whole or the original price is going to equal $350 divided by 70%, but we don't divide by the 70, we change it into a decimal point, 70, point 70. Right. So you should definitely get a number higher than 315. It wouldn't make any sense for the thing to be on sale and be for the original price to have been lower than that. Although I think some stores actually do do that. All right, um, the last one is not that hard. So I'm gonna leave that one up to you.